Hello people from Gunner Station. Well, as you guys know, yesterday, I'm going to say yesterday pretending that I'm on UK time, but today here in the USA, it was today, Arsenal play against Everton, and we drew 0-0 with the uh, Everton team that seems to be improving under the, the interim coach. And of course, Everton announced Ancelotti today. He's going to be in charge for the next game. But it's not about Everton. It's about Arsenal. Well, uh, I'm going to be honest. I tried to watch the game here. But the game was not on TV. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I watched the game and give the player ratings because I think it's unfair. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to be lying on this channel. I want to be honest because I want to give my own opinions about something that I've been. I've been watching. You know, I'm not going to sit here and be like, try to copy other channels and give the same ratings and all that. I don't think it's fair. I like doing my own stuff. This is what I love, and this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, if you guys can please subscribe to the channel, give me a like on this video. Well, today I'm going to talk about two players. Uh, the first one is Mavropanos. Uh, Mavropanos is a, a defender for Arsenal, of course, all of you guys know, uh, 22 years of age, he turned 22, if I'm not mistaken, last week, last week, or two weeks ago, I think it was last week, yeah, last week, and, well, he came in 2018, mainly because of Sven Misling Tats, he came from Pagianina, which is a team from the Greek League, Greek League, I watch it sometimes, because I also, I also really like, I'm a fan of Olympiakos, and I know, guys, we're playing Olymp Olympiacos in the Europa League, but I'm going to support Arsenal, of course. It's my main team. Olympiacos would be a second. But on this game, I'll support Arsenal for sure. Uh, Marvel Pundas is linked with a move to Nottingham Forest from the second division. Well, not the second division, from the championship, actually. And honestly, I don't, I don't know if it's a good move, you know? A move for January on loan. Well, I think I rate Marvel Pundas. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and overhype him and all that because I'm not this this kind of people. Uh, I think that in our fan base we have a lot of people who who show a lot of hate and a lot of people who show who over over hype too many of these players. Well, I rate Mavropanos because I think that he hasn't played for long. Uh, he seems injury prone and I hope he's not. I hope those injuries were just just like. You know, it just, I don't know, it meant to happen. And um, yes, I just hope Marvel Pons keeps playing. I I think I have a hope. I have a, a high hope on him because he's our tallest center center back. Uh, he's six foot four. Uh, he's also a fast center back. And he's good on the ball. Yes, he is good on the ball. Last, last season, he had higher than a 90% percentage of passing accuracy so i don't know why these people come here and say like oh no he's not good yeah yeah he's not that young guy yes he is good on the ball he is a good player on the ball he seems he, he's he's also a fast defender and but he seems like honestly i think that he seems like to be he needs like some physical you know when for example i look at his legs i feel like they are too they're too small and not saying that muscle is equal to strength, but like in football, all, most of the players have like at least like a a strong leg, you know. Even the even the skinny players like uh, Raheem Sterling, uh, all these type of players, you know. Uh, Adama Traore, of course, looks like he takes steroids. But when I see Mavropanos, I see a player there. I, I even think like he doesn't work out. Like he doesn't. Does he work out like on his legs? I, I honestly don't feel like he does. Of course he does, but like it just doesn't. It doesn't feel like. It might be because of genetics, of course. Yeah, and as I said, muscles not equal to strength. But like, he should have at least something, you know. And uh, I saw people criticizing him after the game against Standard Liège, but like it's really hard. You know how hard for a player is to come back and to play with a player like David Luiz and Socrates who, are, who you shouldn't trust those guys and your first match after months is with those guys it's just it's just mad you know his first match in the Europa League close to those guys it's just it's hard because he, he came back after months and people already expect him to be the next Maldini or the next Baresi or whatever 
Like, I, I don't think that's unfair. And then when he plays bad, people say, oh my God, this guy's so bad. This guy's so bad. Sell him, sell him. No, it's not like that. That's not how football works. I think that our fan base is too, like, they, they're, if, when a player plays good, the, the, they overhype him so much. But when a player plays bad, they be like, sell him, sell him. It's not like that. That's not how football works, you know? I think that's really unfair with a guy. Uh, I think we should own him because I don't think he's going to. If he wants to play first team football for Arsenal, uh, then he needs to be on loan. He needs to he needs to go to another team, get some experience, uh, improve technically, and improve the uh, the championship. Of course, it's a league of a lot of physical. I think that he's going to improve a lot on that. Uh, he seems uh, he's a tall player, and uh, but he seems a little bit too skinny. So I think that he should go to a league with more like physical contact, which is the. Which is the championship, of course. And to get ex some experience there. Play for Nottingham Forest. I hope he'll be a starter if he goes there. Uh, an example is uh, Eddie and Ketia, who's playing for... Uh, what team is he playing? Leeds United. Well, every time he he's not a starter. I don't think he has, started a, he has started a single game for Leeds yet. But every time he comes, he does something. He gets an assist or he scores a goal. And he plays for usually 20 to 15 minutes. I see a lot of Leeds United fans that I see, they they seem like they don't understand how he's not a starter. On uh, Who is their coach again? The Argentinian guy, uh, Bielsa, of course. And like people don't understand that, and he's doing this, and every time he comes, he does something. He seems like to do. He seems like he's doing something. So I think that we have a, we have a future for, for this position of strikers. We have the option of Martinelli in the future. Uh, of course, and Ketia, uh, if we sell Aubameyang or Lacazette or both, I think we could get another striker. Uh, so if we do that, but I think that. Mavropanos, we need to make sure if he goes to a team, he'd be a starter so he can get experience. Not like Ampadu when he went to Ampadu from Chelsea. Ampadu, who is a prospect for the, from their academy, came, went to uh, RB Leipzig. And do you really, uh, Chelsea really thought he was going to get experience on a defense with uh, Konate, Orban, Upamecano. Come on, come on. And Halstenberg, who can also play there. Play there. Like, how is Ampadu going to play? I think, if I'm not mistaken, Ampadu has three games this season for Leipzig. And, well, I, I, don't, I couldn't understand. I'm not a Chelsea fan, but I'm just giving an example. I think that should, we should loan Mavropanos to a team where he's going to have playing time and where he's going where he's going to get experience. Uh, he's As I said, he's a fast center back. He's decent on the air. He's tall. Uh, I think that he needs to get some strength. I don't think he's he needs to get some... You know, he needs to get some, you know, mass, mass, you know, he needs to get stronger. He needs to, well, if he, if he wants to get used to this Premier League environment, he has to, he has to have all the, all the tricks that make uh, a player success, su successful in this league. So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, also, I think sometimes of the Bundesliga. I think of the Bundesliga because it's a very technical league and I think that there he, sh he would learn a lot about like skills, more skills with the ball. Uh, I think it's a really decent league. It's one of my favorite leagues. I love Bundesliga. I love watching it. I think it would be a good move for him, but I would loan him to like one of the worst teams there. So just to make sure he's a starter, guys, like a Werder Bremen. But uh, maybe not Werder Bremen because he has he's going to play on the Werder Bremen has the worst defense record on the Bundesliga so far. So if he goes play with if he goes on a team just to play with donkeys, uh, then I don't think it's gonna help him. I think he needs someone like a partner who who's experienced who can guide him. For example, if he goes to Brighton, for example, I don't know. I don't think he should. He would be a starter for Brighton because I honestly think Brighton have better center backs than than we do. Louis Dunk, who in the summer transfer window, I was really asking for him. I think he's a great center back, center half, center half, and of course Duffy, Duffy, who I also think is really decent. So I don't think Mavropanos will be a starter there, but it's not nothing bad because Brighton, in my, in my opinion, have a better def defense than us. So I would love Mavropanos to like, a, I don't know, maybe a Fortuna Dusseldorf from Germany, from, I don't know, Werder Bremen. I don't know about Werder Bremen. I don't think so. Um, I don't know, to be honest, guys. I don't know. Well, 
uh this is the video if you guys like it please give me a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new thank you so much come on you gunners